I'm Dr. Joanne Hobson. I am the Clinical Lead Director of the Menopause Consortium, and I want to talk to you about bone health. This is absolutely crucial, and I want to say it's a cracking good tale, but hopefully it's not after you've listened to this 30 seconds chat. The one thing I want to get across is that we reach our peak bone mass when we are in our mid-20s, and our bones cannot get thicker anymore after that. So when we're in our mid-20s, what you've got is what you've got. And therefore, we, as we could go through the, the, our productive life, our reproductive life, we're producing estrogen. And the estrogen monitors bone metabolism. It, it uh, acts on our osteoclasts and our osteoblasts. And these are bones, these are cells that make and break bone. When we stop producing estrogen at the time of the menopause, we have a change in how these cells work. And what happens is that the bone gets thinner. And therefore, we need to protect our bones by doing weight bearing exercises, cutting our alcohol take, taking vitamin D. Everyone should take vitamin D in the, in the winter months in this country and also just not taking bubbles in our diet because bubbles will decrease how much we can uh, absorb our calcium by acting on uh, other phosphate metabolism. Weight bearing exercise is really important. Not only does it help you lose weight, but it helps the, those bones be protected from osteoporosis. Osteoporosis is a killer and it's one of the major killers of women in this country. And without estrogen, we're all likely to get it. Think about hip fractures. Think about little lady, little old ladies who are crunched up and can't walk because they're in such pain. It really is important that we take this on board and protect ourselves from this killer disease. If you want to hear more or see more about it, look at the website, Menopause Consortium.